What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys own a urethane ball? Because if the answer is no, the answer should probably be yes. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about why urethane balls are so important in today's age. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code Annapolis10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order anything bowling related. That's the best way to help support the channel. That was super appreciated. There's also gonna be a link to my Discord as well as my Patreon. All right, so in front of me here, I have three completely different urethane balls. I have the Honey Badger Purple Urethane, which is very weak. It's gonna allow me to play the straightest possible. And I have this 900 Global Vintage, which is an overseas urethane ball, very strong, allow me to play a little bit further in. And right in between is Old Faithful, the trusty pitch black. So one of the reasons why urethane is so important is today in today's age is because these bowling balls and on some of these patterns hook so much down lane that you need something that's gonna be very smooth, very predictable, and come off that spot, not violently which is why on a lot of these really tough, um, higher volume, really flat patterns, you're gonna see urethane. And one important thing to talk about when we talk about urethane is that they're not designed for light oil. I see a lot of people talking about urethane as a light oil option. They're designed to be the earliest, strongest, read the front part of the lane the hardest, and then be very, very smooth down lane. So because of that, you're gonna want some volume in the front, you don't wanna be throwing these on very low volumes. So some of the patterns that I really like using these on is obviously some of the shorter patterns like Wolf, like Cheetah, even like Viper. And then also pretty much any time that there's friction to the right and the pattern is nice and flat. So here at Samstown, if they put out basically any sport shot that's like 44 feet or less, I'm gonna take a look at some urethane balls. Now we are bowling on just a fresh typical house shot here because I couldn't, I, I didn't have enough time to put out a pattern. But let me know down below in the comments what your favorite urethane ball is. If you love urethane, if you hate it, either way, let me know. So we're gonna start in our weakest one and progress to our strongest ones. All right, we're gonna start in the Honey Badger Purple. We're gonna try to play as straight as possible. Then we'll chase it in if we have to later. Yeah, that's the weakest one. All right, so that was the first shot with your thing, which I always expected to be a little different. So let's go back to that same spot one more time to see. Missed in, and it just sat there, wow. All right, so let's not dead yank this one. Kind of just roll it off our hand here. Kind of like there and see. That's a good shot. All right, a couple more shots here with the Honey Badger Purple, and I'll go to the Pitch Black. All right, last shot here in the Purple, and we get into the Pitch Black, and then just remember, this is the weakest one by far. That's a really good shot there. Ah. Oh. All right, this is the first shot with the pitch black from that same spot to see. Way stronger. Wow, that hooked a lot. But again, that was the very first shot with the urethane, so it's gonna hook. So we'll go to the same spot one more time, and then we'll see. Yeah, it's just way stronger. All right, let's try to shape it a little bit instead of playing more up the lane to see. There we go, we can even move right off that. All right, let's see if we can get one to be a little bit more flush here. Bad footwork. Of course, that's the one that's <laughs> All right, last shot with the first round in the pitch black, and then we'll get into the vintage. There we go. All right, first shot in the vintage, and I'm gonna move left, because it's stronger core and much stronger cover than the pitch black.
All right, so let's move a little bit further left and move our eyes left. Let's see how this looks here. There we go. And this is exactly why urethane balls need volume. Hook. Yeah, I can't believe a urethane ball is hooking this much on this hook shot. Oh. All right, last shot here with the vintage before we take it back to the desk. All right, so that was the first five shots with the Honey Badger Purple, the Pitch Black, and the Vintage. The one, or the two things that I want you guys to pay attention to from those shots was A, all three of them allowed me to play three different parts of the lane, and two, they all produced very similar motions, that hook stop motion. And that's a motion that you, I'm, like, you cannot replicate that with a short pin reactive or with anything. If you need urethane, you need a urethane, like if you need a urethane shape, then you need a urethane ball. Again, I'm not a big, I'm not a big supporter or whatever of urethane on house, but if you need it to score on house, then go ahead by all means and do it. For me, I typically only throw these urethane balls on sport shots with way more volume. The house shot here at Samstown just is not enough volume. I mean, I'm sliding like 25 with this vintage. It's just a little too much. But the one thing you're gonna notice is that as we progress through this video, I'm actually going to move right with all of these balls. And that's because the urethane balls don't absorb oil. They flare right on top of each other. So they're, gonna, they're going to cause more carry down. And as you develop more carry down, I'm gonna to have to soften up and play a little bit straighter. On the sport shots though, like I said, that's a very, very good thing to create a little bit of hold for yourself. So let's get back on the lanes and run through these one more time. All right, back in the purple, and this is the one that let me play the straightest, so I'm just gonna keep doing that here. So that last shot there is right where I wanna play with your thing, but you gotta play with the lanes they're giving you. So let's see if we can execute another good shot here. All right, JK, JK, let's make a better shot now. Like that, I'm happy with that shot. Four pin, I'll take it. Yeah, this, uh, this purple urethane needs friction. All right, last shot here with a purple and then I'll get into the pitch block. Missed that right a little bit. All right, now in the pitch black, gonna go to the same spot that I was at before to see, and then I'll make a move if I have to. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's move in, but my fear with doing that is that it's not gonna hook enough down lane. But let's execute a good one here and see. Let's see there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really regretting shooting this video on a house shot now. Oh, and then it does that. All right, let's see if we can't repeat a couple good ones like that. And then we'll get back into that vintage. Miss right. Oh, that hooks so much. Still waiting for that carry down so I can play a little straighter. Jeez. That's a really good shot. All right, back in the vintage. Let's see if it still hooks like it did before. All right, let's keep that swing down, but stay aggressive. Trust that this ball is gonna hook. Like that. 
So I, I'd never throw this on house because it hooks just way too much. But on sport, this thing is really good. I really wish I would have shot this on, on sport. All right, couple more. We'll get to the desk. Just want to keep executing like that. Push, no chance. Oh, wow. All right, and then another just good shot here with the vintage, and then we'll get back to the desk. That's actually really good. All right, so it's borderline hilarious just how much more this vintage hooks than these two. But the shapes, like, again, are still very similar. I want to be very early, very smooth down lane. And again, I've said this a couple times now, I really wish I would have shot this on a sports shot, but the Samsung is getting ready to do the Super Senior Masters and the Senior Masters, and it was just all too much cluster to try to get a sports shot put out last second. So now we're gonna get back into one more round with each of these balls, and I'm hoping that I'm able to play a little bit straighter now with all of, I mean, I can play straight with the purple the whole time, but a little bit straighter with the pitch black and the vintage just to see because like I said, I'm very rarely, if ever, going to be hooking the lane this much with urethane. So, all right, back at the Honey Badger Purple and kind of the same idea. I want to keep my swing nice and low, stay aggressive through the upswing and see if I can get the spot to look pretty good. Oh, that's so close. This ball is just so, so, so much weaker than the other two. like 50 shots in in this video and this purple's finally starting to look half decent. And then it does that. All right, couple more shots with the purple and I'm gonna put it away, maybe forever. Last shot with the Honey Badger purple. That's a good way to end it. All right, back in the pitch black, and I'm gonna to try to make an effort to firm up, play a little straighter to see. There we go. If I could repeat like that last shot, I would be just the happiest person. And that's what we're working towards. Yeah, I got it right. No chance. Really just got to keep it in front of me and then it looks great. Like that. That's going to be great. And a ninth end. I mean, for me at this point, it's all about just throwing good shots. And I can live with the result of that last one because it was a really good shot. Same thing with that one. All right, last shot on the pitch black. Then I'm gonna to attempt to play the vintage from this same spot. Definitely gonna to have to be firm. Good shot. All right, back in the vintage. Gonna to try to play a little bit straighter, but keep my game, everything the same here. Maybe, there we go. Move a hair left off that. This is the best it's looked here from straighter, in my opinion, of course. Get there! All right, two more shots to the vintage here. And this ball's gonna be with me at Nationals for sure. Oh. All right, looking for five in a row. If I strike, I'll just keep going till I miss, and if I don't, video's over. That might be a strike. All right, now let's just see how many more we can do. Hopefully it's more than just this one shot. Oh, 
Oh! All right, keep making good shots. I'm actually going to inch right a little bit here. Hopefully it's the right move. Oh. All right, I'm going to move that one back left because that went way too high. Miss right. Yeah. All right, so there you have it, folks. There is my why is urethane important in today's game. The biggest thing to take away from this video is that when you need urethane shape, meaning very, very early and very smooth down lane, there's just nothing better. And fortunately or unfortunately, when you're bowling out on like regionals, even local sweepers on sports shots, sometimes you just need urethane. However you feel about urethane is almost irrelevant. That's like saying, I don't want to use a sledgehammer for whatever reason. But if you need one, there's really nothing better. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. Click right here to watch some other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time. You all right?